Pakistan. Can you talk about, in a practical sense, what it means that the U.S. thinks it's a mistake for Israel to go into Rafah with a ground offensive? Will you halt aid and weapons? Yeah, I think I just got the same question. I, I'm not going to get it. No, well, you, you didn't. Maybe you, you, there was an answer. You, maybe you, you didn't find it satisfactory, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, what uh, what we're talking about here is is making it clear to the Israelis our deep concerns about any ground offensive into Rafah. Uh, there, there's a million and a half people there, and it's not a big it's not a big space. Um, they've got to be accounted for. Their safety and security has got to be protected. Um, and we believe that a major ground offensive is a mistake. We believe that it will be, as, as I've said many times and you've heard from other officials, a disaster, certainly for those million and a half refugees in, in Rafah. And so we want to present to the Israelis some viable alternatives and options about how they could go after the legitimate threat of Hamas there in Rafah without um, sacrificing the safety and security of those people. Is it a mistake or is it a violation of the national security memo that would in turn result in the halt of aid and weapons. Be I believe the State Department has already talked about that. The Israelis have submitted their um, their letter in, in the keeping with the national security memo, um, and Secretary of State has determined that the information they provided was credible and was reliable. And just one more quick one, because you've said so many times from this podium, John, you've said repeatedly, the U.S. is not going to tell Israel how to conduct its military operations. So. If you're willing to do it now, why not before? We're not doing it now. You're not telling them not to do something? Well, with that's not what this meeting's about. We're not, we're not, uh, you know, we're going to lay out terms. This is a sovereign country. And uh, they, they have their own military and they have their own operations to conduct. They have to make those decisions. But as a friend of Israel and an ally, as before today and next week, we want to make sure that they make those decisions fully informed with our lessons learned from urban warfare and this kind of fighting in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, do they have to listen to our advice and counsel? No. But we have seen in the past where they have taken some of it on board. We hope they take this on board.